Uh, so today's topic is Dijkstra's algorithm. So Dijkstra's algorithm is what is known as oh, let me, okay, a uh, single source uh, shortest path algorithm. Okay, it has conditions such as the graph G with uh, vertices and edges must be directed okay and the edge weights must be non-negative okay I already have a graph driven so let's work through um, an example here back to the pen. Okay. Assuming this is a starting point S. Okay. Initially all vertices are set to infinity because they're not visible. Okay, now if we start from S, S is uh, S can see A and B. Okay, so initially they're set to values infinity and we only update these values on the edge uh, vertices if they are um, Greater if if the, uh, the the distance from the predecessor to the vertices is less than what it currently has. So obviously ten is less than infinity from s to a. Whatever units you want to use, it's just a number. So so from to get to a from s, it takes ten whatever units. So we update its value to ten because ten is less than infinity. Okay. Now <coughs> similarly, you can also get from uh, s to b and five is certainly less than infinity oops not, not that one so we update its value to five so now it takes ten units to get to a uh, and five units to get to b from s okay now dextrous algorithm will select the least of these two so it will select the uh, edge from s to b so this is the path it will take okay and then we do the same thing uh, as we did before from b so now from b we can see nodes a I mean vertices A, C, and D, okay? And we only update its values if they are less than what it currently has. So to get to A, uh, we add up what the, the value of the current vertex is plus the edge weight. So 5 plus 3 is 8, which is certainly less than 10, so we update its value. But we don't necessarily move, uh, go to that vertex, okay? Now, the... Um, the edge from B to C has the uh, cost of 9, so we add that to 5, which is 14. That's certainly less than infinity, so we update C's value to 14. Now, similarly to D, 5 plus 2 is 7, which is certainly less than infinity, so we update the value. So now, <coughs> Dexter's algorithm will select the least um, vertex, the least costly vertex to go to, okay? So in this case, it will be D because it has the um, weight of 7 which is less than all other vertices that we have currently so we go go to D okay and we do we repeat the process so from D C is visible okay 7 plus 6 is 13 that's less than 14 so we update its value and then that's all the only uh, vertices that we can see from D okay now we consider all the smallest uh, weight of all of the vertices which is in this case A, so we go to A from B because that's where we update its value from last. Okay, if you want to keep the uh, the chart um, like on the side to remember where all the uh, numbers came from, that'll be good. Okay, so we go to A from B because five plus three was eight, and that's where we got the number from. Okay, so we repeat the process. So from the uh, vertex A, we can see B and C. Okay, we don't update b because a plus 2 is 10 which is greater than 5 so we leave b as this however the uh, edge from a to c only costs one unit so we go from uh, a to c in a matter of nine units because 8 plus 1 is 9 which is certain less than 13 so we update the value of c to 9 okay and then we consider the um, the uh, the least weight of uh, least weight vertex again in this case there's only one left because we already have all other vertices already numbered so and we already visited all other vertices so we take the uh, the path from A to C like so and we are done this is the shortest path 
from starting from the vertex S to all other vertices. And that's the um, the algorithm.